In 2018, metals continue to prove themselves as key enablers of future technology. Researchers continued to find new uses, particularly for the so-called minor metals, such as molybdenum and tellurium, and lesser known metals such as germanium. The following is a year in review of how minor metals had an outsized impact past year. Pushing Moore's Law MIT researchers continued Moore's Law's march, creating a new technique to cram twice as many transistors onto a computer chip. Using an alloyed material, which included gallium and indium, researchers created 3D transistors as small as 2.5 nanometers, much smaller than the current 7 nanometer transistors, and much more energy efficient. Going supersonic. Far Eastern Federal University and the Russian Academy of Sciences created a new material using hafnium that could withstand temperatures above 2600 degrees C, levels that airplane nose cones and sharp edges experience during high supersonic speeds. 1,000 times faster computer memory. A semi-metallic alloy of germanium, antimony, and tellurium potentially could revolutionize computer memory, says scientists from the Arizona State University and Germany. Data can be stored 1,000 times faster, utilizing the changes in the states of matter of the alloyed material, and in a more durable way than current flash memory. Mimicking the human brain. Using a combination of molybdenum and lithium, researchers at the University of Michigan were able to create devices that mimic synapses in the human brain. This is a key step in achieving neurotrophic computing. Computers that work more efficiently than today's machines by mimicking the human brain. Cheaper hydrogen gas through jello? Hydrogen gas from water traditionally uses expensive platinum as a catalyst. Metal carbides of tungsten, molybdenum, or cobalt mixed with gelatin were found to be much more effective as catalysts, say researchers from the University of California, Berkeley. Hydrogen gas is essential for hydrogen fuel cells for cars and utility storage of solar, wind, and other renewable energy. High temperature superconductor portends future supercomputers. Next generation supercomputing applications came closer to reality last year. At the National Institute of Standards and Technology, Rhenium took center stage as an electroplated material with gold to help make possible superconducting circuit boards that don't require super low temperatures, which can be difficult and expensive to produce and maintain. A meteor may have destroyed an ancient city. The presence of zirconium, as well as other signs, point to the destruction of a civilization near the Dead Sea 3,700 years ago by a meteor airburst explosion. For a brief period, the Tal el Hammam site in modern-day Jordan was exposed to temperatures over 12,000 degrees C, melting rocks and lending credence to the famous Bible story. The findings by archaeologist Philip Sylvia of Trinity Southwest University and archaeologist Stephen Collins have caused spirited debate in the archaeological community. Correcting errors in quantum computers. Quantum computers are set to completely change computation, promising faster, more massively parallel processing than classical computers. They are more delicate though, and more prone to errors. Researchers at ETH Zurich 
have tested the way to find and correct errors in quantum computing using two beryllium atoms. Given the developments of the past year, who knows where minor metals will soon take us. Again, we hope you like this video. Please give it a like, subscribe to this channel, and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.